sidewise spark. This will be a half arena wide AoE of where the glowing hand is pointing towards. So move to the opposite side of the glowing hand, Shadow Sabbath. The boss will spawn a clone of himself and do the exact same previous mechanic. Simply move to the opposite side of the glowing hand. Wicked Jolt, the boss will start destroying three quarters of the arena, move to the area that is unaffected. Three Fold Blast, the boss will shoot out a line AoE in front of him or behind him consecutively for three times in a row. The glow on the cannon signifies in which order he will do this in. Followed up by four fold blast, exact same mechanic, but this time the boss will shoot four times in a row. Then there will be AoEs dropped on random players, you will need to spread to avoid this. Bewitching Flight, stand in between the purple laser to dodge the incoming line AoE. Then one of the purple line will start glowing, simply move away as that will turn into a big AoE. Immediately there will be circle AoEs dropped onto random players, make sure to spread for that. Shadow Sabbath 2. This time the boss will quickly spawn 4 clones of himself in the cardinal positions. Keep the camera still facing north or south and pay close attention to where the glowing hand is facing, then dodge accordingly. The boss will then destroy the arena once again, followed up by 5 fold blast, this time he will shoot the cannons 5 times in a row, resolve it the exact same way as previously. At the end there will be a full party spread. Bewitching Flight 2, there will be 2 sets of lasers to watch out for. Identify the safe spot from the first set of lasers and then look towards the second set of lasers. The purple lines on the ground will be the same as before, it will start glowing, this time two lines will glow at once, simply avoid them. Witch Hunt. There will be a bunch of telegraph small circle AoEs on the arena. Simply stand next to the very first circle AoE and the moment it goes off, walk into it immediately. Wicked Hyper Cannon. It is a party stack. The tank will shoot out a beam non-stop. At the end of that, the boss will then drop puddles on random players, make sure to spread. Then the boss will repeat the exact same mechanic for about 3 to 4 times. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.